Hello YouTube, the iTunes family back here again today. And just a few minutes ago, your iPhone 3G ran iOS 4, but now it's going to go down to iOS 3. Please watch this story to find out how to do it. So now I'm doing animal chores, but the things you need are obviously your iPhone 3G and a 30 pin cable. And you also need your computer, which can be either a Mac or a PC, it shouldn't really matter which. Your version of iTunes also should not really matter. But in the link I have below to go get your firmware, you can you you should be able to choose any of these iOS 3 firmwares. I know iOS 3.0.1, 3.2.1.2 work, but I'm actually going to try 3.0. So I'm just going to minimize this. So yes, it's telling me. And yeah. And yes, I know this is showing, it is showing a phone number right here, but, but that is just the nature of of my computer, I can't really do much about that. And besides, it's not my phone number, or any or a phone number of anybody I know. It came with one of the SIM cards that came with one of my phones. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to press uh, on Mac OS. You need to press I think it is the option key. And restore iPhone on Windows is Shift. And on Mac OS, you'll need to go to Finder, by the way, if you're on Mac OS, Catalina, or above, but I'm on High Sierra. And if you're on Windows, obviously just use iTunes, but since I'm on High Sierra, I'm just going on Mac OS High Sierra. I am just going to go ahead and use iTunes since it comes with it. So what you need to do is you just need to simply go to option restore iPhone and then we'll go ahead and load up or obviously just shift and restore if you're on Windows and then go to your file system and find where I stored the IPSW and click open. As you can tell right here, it's just going to go ahead and extract the software and do the whole process. So I will go ahead and record this on time lapse. Or no, I'm just going to cut cut straight to this when this phone starts booting up again. Oh, and I forgot to mention you will need an SD a SIM cards for this because iOS 4 requires a SIM card, and that is basically all you need. And if your phone boots up into recovery mode and it's the iOS 3 recovery mode logo, like it's different from the one that you get on iOS 4, that means you're doing fine. You just need a tool called 3D Tools. It's available on Windows only for to boot out. So I'll just come back to you once this is error done. Error did occur on mine, which is error 1015, but uh, that is actually normal because that is just because that is just an error telling you how. That is just an error telling you that, hey, you need to boot out a recovery mode of a tool. Like, that's completely normal. Do not restore it or do anything like that. So I'll show you how to boot it out. Alright, so I'm on Windows right now to help boot the phone out of recovery mode. And I would highly recommend just using Windows in the first place. If you can, so what you need to do is go to 3U Tools, whatever that is. I'm just covering it up with my personal information just in case it shows it. I'm just going to give it a minute, a second to, a few seconds to load. What is it coming up with? Yes, this program doesn't make changes to your computer, by the way.
Okay, so here we are. It says iDevice Connected Recovery Mode. As you can tell, it's the iOS 3 screen, so we know that's right. There's a button that says Exit Recovery Mode. Just exit. And then it will go ahead and come up right here. And it should boot into the normal setup screen. And by the way, if your regular SIM card does... You need an AT&T SIM card if your iPhone 3G is not unlocked with this. You need an AT&T one. And after that, once you have your AT&T one, and you'll need a bigger SD card too, one, one like the one that the older iPhones use. It's a newer one. And there we go. Now I've got the phone itself. So now, so just reboot it by holding down the power and home button if it doesn't recognize your SIM card the first time. So what you need to do is now open up iTunes. Once you're done. It should recognize the phone any second now. Installing device drawing for software. This is part of the reason why I don't like Windows as much as Mac OS. And yes, my cat is meowing like that. Or it should recognize my phone. I honestly don't know what it's doing. Oh, and it's not connected. And there we go, it should be able to Okay, I'm gonna have to run the installer, but it should go ahead and just activate like that. And then you should officially be running iOS 3.0. So, sorry, this is kind of like a sore fail video. I, uh, the YouTuber who originally did a video like this, Nick Randall, he did not go ahead and you, his phone didn't boot up into recovery mode, so I wasn't expecting mine to. But that's okay, so I'll have to go ahead and reinstall it. After, but obviously you probably won't need to do that so I'm going to, so all the links will be below in the description and as always peace out